Hello, and welcome to this eight-hour online traffic school for licensed drivers in Tennessee. I'm Rob Robison, and I'll be your instructor. The Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security provides drivers who have been ordered by a court to take either a four-hour or eight-hour traffic school class with a choice of providers. This eight-hour class has been approved by the Driver Services Division of the state. If you successfully complete it, the court will, will generally dismiss the citation in question. No points will be added to your driving record and no fine to pay, and no increase in your insurance premium. But not everyone who rolls in traffic school does so to have a citation dismissed. Some of us here in Tennessee enroll in classes like this to take advantage of premium discounts offered by some insurance companies to traffic school graduates. If that's the reason you're here, be sure to check with your insurer to find out if they do offer a discount and how much. You may wonder why the state of Tennessee is willing to dismiss a traffic ticket when you take the class, or why insurers might offer a discount for it. As it turns out, the state of Tennessee and insurers have learned through real-world experience that drivers who finish traffic school are safer and cause fewer crashes. This means the residents of Tennessee see fewer tragic injuries or property damage from vehicle crashes. But how do we know this? Well, before seatbelt laws took effect in the 1970s and 1980s, over 50,000 people per year died on American highways. Our population has increased a lot since then. So if this rate had continued, you might expect 75,000 people a year to die in vehicle crashes. But in addition to millions more drivers, the number of miles the average American drives has also increased, nearly doubled, in fact. So taking into account our growing population and increasing miles driven, you might expect something like 150,000 Americans to die in crashes every year. That's not what happened, though. Instead, by 2010, traffic fatalities were down to about 32,000 a year. While that's still too many, saving well over 100,000 lives a year is spectacular, not to mention a lot fewer injuries and billions of dollars saved in medical costs. So why did this happen? The biggest drops in traffic deaths came in the 20 years after 1970, when seatbelt laws took effect here in Tennessee and around the U.S. But by the 1990s, the gains in traffic safety had stalled. The Tennessee legislature realized that if we were going to bring injuries and deaths from vehicle crashes down even more, it had to be by changing driver behavior. Let me explain. A University of Indiana study in 1979 determined that 2 to 3 percent of vehicle crashes happen due to mechanical problems. Another 4 to 5 percent are due to road conditions, and the remaining 93 percent happen because of a driver's actions or inactions. What that means is a large number of those crashes could have been avoided or made less severe if the driver had known what to do. With that in mind, Tennessee created a driver education option for traffic infractions beginning in the 1990s. Previously, driver education was ordered by a judge, but it could now be chosen by a driver in order to have a ticket dismissed. The hope was that giving drivers information and training would change how we drive and have a greater impact than levying a fine. And, as it turned out, it worked. By about 2014, the rate of highway deaths had been cut nearly in half from the mid-90s. Part of that is due to technological advances. Overall, vehicles are safer than they were 25 years ago. But the biggest part of the decline in highway death rate had to do with how people were driving. Again, why? Well, for one thing, the rate started to rise again after 2012. After all those years of steady gains, why would the roads start becoming less safe again? It was pretty clear that it was because of a new driver behavior, using cell phones while driving. Our numbers of crashes that had been decreasing steadily started to rise again. 
Here's a chart that shows how. In Tennessee, the number of crashes due to distracted driving almost doubled from 2009 to 2017. By the way, you have noticed that I use the term vehicle crashes and not car accidents. An accident suggests that it's no one's fault. But we know better, don't we? Remember, I referred to that 1979 University of Indiana study that showed 93% of crashes resulted from driver behavior. In fact, a recent National Highway Traffic Safety Administration study not only confirmed this, but actually found a slightly higher percentage of crashes due to human error. And we saw it confirmed as well when a recent driver behavior, that of cell phone use, made the rate of crashes start to rise again. So let's be honest, they're not car accidents, they're crashes. And what I want to do in this class is to give you the tools to avoid crashes if you can, and to make any crashes that do happen less serious.